Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So we've got one system from the user MusicPotato2 in Discord so massive thank you to them for sending this in. But without further ado, let's get straight into this. So open, it should already be saved, there it is. Cool, right so this is the K system. So, right what have we got? Ooh, okay, right. Let's see what we've got down here. Welcome to the KE's family, where everything is okay. Let me know, give you a tour. It will be a pleasure. Let's start with the first planet. So there's the star itself as well. It's looking quite small. Red dwarf sort of stats we've got going on here. Yeah, very, very small sort of object. Right, first of the planet. Let's go on a... Uh... Ooh, let's go on realistic as well, just so we can see everything a little better. Okay, so first object. So a planet called Peyton is my favourite planet because a species called Sunoma live on there. Uh, we totally did not capture them and put them on a hot planet. Uh, Suma reversed. It's an ignorant species who can't who can't think for themselves. So is that this object here? I don't know if he's done them in the right order. So well, we'll do look. Uh, don't think there's a description for that one. Was it this one? Peyton? Is that is that what this is meant to be? Peter. Peter it. So I think that's this one here. Okay. Right, next up we got this one. I turn a stay. I turn a stay. So that's this one here. It's an okay planet. Nothing special except it has microbacteria growing in the ocean. It's also very hot. Okay. So there it is there. Next up, we have got uh, this one, Erte, over here. So, it's an Earth-like planet, but it doesn't have any life because it doesn't have an atmosphere. Um, the atmosphere was blown away during the solar flare of 54. It used to have species, uh, the Tats, who lived on the planet. They were short purple and had five legs, but now they are extinct. It also has a moon in but they were untouched for a long time which is why we don't have information about it okay so there's a moon as well cool so next up we got this one Ertusk alrighty a planet I live on the reason why the grass is red is unknown but we found it's toxic to humans um, I mean can solve but I mean can solve that does say that right I mean can not sure that makes sense. Go born on Earth. Uh, we do have a moon called Lip 8, but it's very hot, 750 degrees, and we aren't able to learn about it. Uh, task. Well, if it's a red, if it's red grass, that's because the photosynthesis from the red dwarf works differently. So it'd probably be something along the lines of that. Uh, moving on, we've got Tash, an asteroid orbiting, but we are not sure how it was made or how it fallen into orbit. Okay. Then we have Frosty, very cold planet. So, very cool planet. 31.1% chance of life to stay. It does have life called the Frosties who live under the ice and are mermaid-like. They use their tail to hit their prey. Okay. Next up, we've got Athena. The only natural gas giant. It's very rich and made of 78.2% of diamond in its core. Very nice. Over here, we have got this one. Neponus 2. So is that that one then? Oh. I'm assuming that's what that... Uh, the human gift is hydrogen planet gifted. My uh, my humans after the Ratask Earth War of 2208. Human years and the year 43... Oh god, this is confusing. Uh, Ratus years. We won the war on... I'm not sure what's going on, I have to say. I'm a bit confused. Um... Looks like this is it. If I miss any planets, it's because we only discovered all the ones listed. If I miss any, please contact us at Arctic. But it's only uh, okay, right? So we still got these ones to check out. So we'll quickly check that as out ourselves. So we got this uh, nice blue one there. Now we got Zeus over here. So another gas giant, chilling a lot further out. Okay, the curator. That's this one here, so another another 
generic gas giant, and then lastly, a gift from humans over here. So it's another uh, gas giant, very dark, very far away as well. Alrighty, there's even more. So we've got this one over here. Again, it's just a, it's a ringed object. Got some uh, moons as well. Okay, then we've got this strange object over here. That's got a very weird orbit. And we have a world called Erat over here. No idea how this is glowing hot. It's in complete darkness, but okay. And I think that does it for this system. So, let's see. Yeah, that's everything. So, let's line them all up as we finish up. So, that was a very quick system, I have to say. Um, but I have to say, yeah, it didn't really... I have to say the text was a bit confusing. I'm not sure if it's just me, but it didn't really sort of make much sense in some areas. But my um, yeah, apologies if I've misinterpreted it, but yeah, there we go. Right, anyways, yeah, that does it for this system, guys. So that is some of the user music with Tato Doom and Discord. So massive thank you to them for sending this system in. But yeah, guys, with that all said and done, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to press that like button. Subscribe for more. Helps on the journey to 30,000 subscribers. We, as we are less than three, or so, us less than 700 people away now, wasn't it? So, yeah, yeah, really, really appreciate that, guys. And, yeah, make sure you stay safe out there, stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.